want to be continuous here. Since this month, I'm doing my reviews for woman-based movies because of a woman's history month. Here is my review for the 1990 film Mermaids. Now, Mermaids, of course, believe it or not, tur literally turns uh, literally turns uh, 31 this year, which is insane to believe. But anyway, now, uh, Mermaids is, of course, a film all that stuff. I guess to say a bit of a coming of age tale that starred the likes of Cher, Winona Ryder, and a, Christina, and a very young Christina Ricci in the first ever feature uh, film. It was also directed by uh, Richard uh, by Richard Benjamin, who's directed some other uh, sauce, you know, all uh, noble work. Uh, his, you know, other noble work includes uh, stuff like. Uh, uh, Lil Nikita, uh, he's did uh, Downtown, uh, Keep You Off the Stines. But really, this uh, this film is probably his uh, best work, in my opinion. You know, it is, like I said, it is a coming of age uh, story, and, and it stars Winona Ryder, who plays this uh, 15 year who of course uh, plays this 15 year old named Shaw Flax, who is tired of her a wacky mom played by Cher. Uh, moving their family into a different town anytime uh, she feels like it's you know necessary enough. But when they end up moving to a small uh, Massachusetts uh, town and uh, and um, the mother of uh, Mrs. Flax begins uh, dating this uh, shopkeeper who's portrayed by Bob Hoskins, Shaw and her uh, and her um, nine-year-old sister named Kate, played by Christina Richards, are hoping that they can finally settle down and all. But of course, Shaw ends up pretty much be, um, being attracted to this uh, to this older guy who's uh, who's portrayed by uh, Michael uh, Skull Curling. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And so, of course, this has been like a teen romance movie as well because there is like a romance that happens between Rhino Dorado's character and uh, and um, the uh, Joe character. Uh, I mean, the uh, daughter and then, um, the mother and daughter that have a chemistry between Cher and Winona Ryder is really solid. You can really buy them as mother and daughter. Uh, Christine Ritchie, like I said, this is actually her first feature she did. Of course, since then, she went on playing uh, Wednesday in the Addams Family movies. She was uh, we uh, Wendy and uh, Casper. Uh, she was in Munster. I mean, Christine Ritchie is always the best. Uh, but I thought uh, Christina Ritchie was really solid in this one. There is a very intense moment that ends up happening to uh, Christina Ritchie's character, which I admit that's probably one of the most intense moments in this film. But it's definitely a really decent dramedy film. Uh, Bob Hoskins, he, he, I, I'm not gonna lie. I literally one time when I first saw this movie, I literally thought Bob Hoskins was Danny DeVito. I don't know, like Bob Hoskins was so much like Danny DeVito in this movie. It's not funny. But that's like this film did have a really uh, solid script to it. I mean, I remember watching this film on uh, TV a couple of times. I used to always get a kick out of this film. It's a really decent coming of age tale worth checking out. It's cute. It is charming. Uh, Cher, like I said, Cher is, isn't of course someone uh, who's who shows that she's not just um, a singer. Uh, Cher has you know been capable of doing um, loads of films such as let's. You know, such as the movie Mass, uh, which is the least sweat. Um, obviously, you know, she won her Oscar for Moonstruck. I mean, I've always loved Cher, you know, as a singer and even as an actress. And I thought Cher was just solid in this movie. It's a really decent uh, film worth checking out. I mean, if you guys have never really seen Mermaids, it's actually it does not really get talked about a whole lot. I mean, it's like in 1990, but it's really a film that people don't really find a massage before or anything like that. Which is a shame because it's a really decent uh, well film and all. I mean, if you guys haven't seen it, you could find it on uh, Fandango Now and Voodoo. It's not even on barely any streaming sites because this, this comes here, but not every movie could be on streaming sites, I guess. But uh, anyway, yeah, definitely go check out Mermaids if you guys never seen it. And it is a bit odd that this movie is called Mermaids and there's literally no mermaids in it. I always have found that to be a little odd. But there are scenes where, uh, you know, where, um, the, uh, 
you know, young sister is uh, trying to uh, swim and stuff like that. So I guess that's a reason why it's called mermaids. Yeah, I, I've always found odd that it's called mermaids and literally no mermaids in it. But uh, uh, the ending is also pretty solid too. I mean, definitely go check the film out if you guys haven't seen it. Anyway. Uh, let me leave you guys. Have you ever seen the Cher and Winona Ryder film Mermaids? If so, watch it over. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What are some favorite parts in this? Some of your favorite moments? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sayon.